I want to show you how you can use Microsoft Power BI to easily connect to your Dynamics GP data and create quick dashboards that you can use and you can send to others. So there's a couple ways to get the data out of GP. I can connect directly to the SQL database if I want to. What I chose to do was use a refreshable Excel report, bring that information from GP into Excel, and then upload it to my Office 365 account. So here's the refreshable Excel report. I'm looking at the sales detail. And if I want to refresh that, all I need to do is go to the data tab and hit refresh all. It's going to go back out to the Dynamics GP database. It's going to refresh this spreadsheet with any new data that might be in there. And the data's refreshed, and I want to save it up to my Office 365 account. So I can do that right from Excel. I'm going to save it to my OneDrive Personal. I'll click on that. I can browse out to that. And you can see my file right there. Now let's take a look at Power BI. This is my main dashboard when I log into Power BI in my Office 365 account. So to set this up, I did a couple things. The first thing I did was to get data. So all I'm doing is assigning data into my Power BI environment. And what I did is I used the Excel workbook that I just showed you. So there's a number of other connectors. You can see that here. To connect an Excel spreadsheet, it's relatively easy. And all I did is connect to the spreadsheet that's on my Office 365 account. And there it is right there. So once I've connected to the data, I can go into that data and start creating graphs and combine those into a dashboard. So let's do that. Here's my workspace for that data set. On the right-hand side, you can see all the different fields that are in that data set. I'm going to scroll down and find a field that I want to include. I'm going to take the extended price and just bring it onto my workspace. That will automatically create a graph for me, but I need additional information on that. So I'm just going to add customer name to this existing graph. I just grab it and pull it over. And Power BI will automatically create the new graph for me. Now I can change the graph type here. I can also anchor it to my main page. So let's take a look at some reports that I created earlier. I have two reports. The first one we'll look at is called Customer Sales. And on Customer Sales, I have three graphs that I put together on one dashboard. Let's take a look at it. You can see those graphs here. I've got shipments by month, sales by customer, and then sales by item. What's nice about this is that these three graphs are automatically interrelated as soon as you put them onto the one report. So for example, if I click on this client here, the other two graphs will change to respond to that selection. I can select multiple customers in this case if I want to. I can also click on the other graphs. I can click on this item, for example, and I can see which customers purchased that and then what months they purchased that. So these graphs are automatically interrelated when you put them onto the page. It makes for handy analysis right here on the dashboard. Let's take a look at the other one. This is another one. It's similar to the other one I just showed you, but I've added a map component to it. And again, if I select a particular item here, the other two graphs will respond to show me in what states I sold this and also in what months. Likewise, I can go to this map here and I can click on a state, Washington, for example. And the other two graphs will change to reflect the fact that I selected Washington as a state from which I sold these. So this is just a quick overview of how you can use Power BI to connect to Dynamics GP data and easily create graphs and dashboards for your use and to share with others.